What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV for today's video. We're starting off with a commentary today as it's been a couple of weeks since I've done one properly, giving you guys some good form tips. Plus I've got some good footage of this week's workouts, courtesy of the lads from uni helping me out, so cheers lads for that. So without further ado, let's get straight into everybody's favourite day, chest. As you can see, we started off by warming up with the, just the bar and then progressed to 60 kilos. This is what I like to call my in-between set before where you get properly warmed up and just perfect your form before the heavy working sets. It's something I've been doing for the last few months and definitely helps me both mentally and physically, I feel, before every workout. So uh, this was then followed up by three working sets of bench with 80 kilos, as you guys can see, with the final sets dropping back down to 60 again, just doing some drop sets, getting some proper good volume, proper good quality reps in there as well. Next up, we moved on to the first back movement of the day. As you guys know, I train five times a week, three upper and two lower. Each upper has a different primary focus though. One chest, one back and one shoulder, but you still got to hit the entire upper body and then obviously the two leg workouts as well. So anyway, here is the first back movement, lat pull down. Just using a neutral grip. Uh, some people like to go wide and get a little more lat activation in there, but you've got to bear in mind that I'm only five foot seven. So my, uh, to my short ass little arms, uh, this is a normal grip. So uh, one form tip I always do for the lat pull down is to focus on pulling from the lats itself, pulling from the elbows and not shrugging down or swaying too much as well. Obviously there's going to be a natural sway in there a little bit, it's just a natural part of the motion, uh, but try and keep it to the minimal and uh, just keep the focus on the lats as much as possible. Next we move back to chest uh, with an incline dumbbell press. This was used with 25 kilos in this set, but actually after this I upped it to the 30s um, after it was recorded. But when it comes to the incline, I always recommend having the bench on as low as incline as possible. Uh, I was actually explaining this to a good friend of mine the other day. Uh, the higher you have the incline, the more shoulder activation you get and the less chest. So depends on your goals at the time, but I prefer to have it lower down and use more chest and then focus on shoulders on shoulder day. So this was then followed up by one of my favourite exercises, chest flies. Now you have to play around with the heights of this uh, as to where you put it at. I prefer to put it right at shoulder level, but some people prefer to come from above, from below, but I like it uh, definitely in the middle a lot more. So I feel it puts as little strain on my shoulders as possible, and anyone who's watched the channel uh, for a while knows that I have absolutely shocking shoulder mobility, but I'm working on it, trust me. So uh, same form applies with controlling the negative and then really feeling it in the chest, getting a nice good squeeze at the top. That was then fo followed up by, to finish off today's workout, I did a bicep tricep superset. Uh, now you guys have seen this a couple of videos ago, it's something new that I've been trying out and I absolutely love it. So uh, what you do is you grab an easy curl bar or a straight bar, whichever you prefer, but again, Bad flexibility on my part makes the second part easier on your wrists. So uh, once you've got your bar, grab some light weights and put it on each side. There's only five kilos on each side here, but trust me, you do this properly for three sets or four, then keeping your rest time down as well, you will feel it so much by the end. Uh, and as you can see, the first exercise is just a regular bicep curl, controlling the negative and squeezing at the top as much as possible, making sure you get that full range of motion for maximum muscle contraction and therefore maximum muscle growth. Once that's finished, drop the bar and adjust your grip ready for an overhead tricep extension. Again, I've said it so many times in this commentary already, but it's because I can't emphasize the importance of it enough in controlling the weight, especially when it's behind your head like this. Or if you're just shrugging it left, right and center, you're opening up yourself to a world of injuries. But take your time, control it and you'll be good. So I love this movement because it just means that you leave the gym with a full arm pump and it just feels amazing. So give it a go guys if you want. That's going to conclude today's commentary. Drop it a like if you enjoyed it and stay tuned for the rest of the video. Right, okay, how's it going guys? Back from the gym now, back from a half decent, half decent day at uni as you guys just saw. So here what I'm going to have is a post-workout snack, protein cookie from my protein, the chocolate orange flavour. Now you do kind of have to allow for these uh, in your macros because they are actually 328 calories. Not necessarily bad calories because there is 38 grams of protein. So good decent protein kick post workout there uh, they are about this size just on a small plate it actually looks really quite small on that plate but so I'll just put this in the microwave you put it on a microwavable plate for 30 seconds as you guys can see here literally just shove it in the microwave for 30 seconds so here is the final product after 35 seconds in the microwave and as you can see you get this nice soft spongy melted chocolate gooey goodness of a final product so i'm going to enjoy this guys and i'll catch up with you in a bit 
Right, okay guys, so I've just been sat here for the last hour or so doing some invoices for you guys. If you guys have been ordering uh, one of the bundles or one of the hats or the t-shirts, then I'm doing your invoice now and you will have had it and hopefully paid it by the time you see this video, because so, this will be up in another couple of days. So uh, what I'm going to do is just do this for another 10-15 minutes because I've got a few more to do. And I'm just sat here watching the Champions League. It is Monaco against Borussia Dortmund and I've actually put a little bet on. Not that I encourage betting, but I literally put a couple of pound on with a chance of winning about 50. So um, gamble responsibly, obviously. And I'll catch you guys in a bit. Dinner time and what we have is two perfectly cooked steaks, even if I do say so myself. 200 grams of sweet potatoes, roughly, and half a pack of this veg, which I'll put on the screen right now. So, we're gonna enjoy this, catch you guys in a bit. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Whatever time you guys happen to be watching this video, I thank you guys for tuning in so far. To finish off today's video, what I wanted to do was to just give you guys a little bit of a, not update, a kind of a notification as to the emblem bundle, the LSJ kind of situation at the minute. Um, those, I've had a few questions as to whether you can get a hat and the white t-shirt and the answer is yes. I did actually put that in a few different posts. You can get any emblem t-shirt. You don't have to get the black one, which you saw in the last video. Um, you can get the white one and the hat as well. So if you are interested, stocks are running low. I literally have about five hats left. So if you're interested, then please get in while you can. Uh, message me on any form of social media in the description box, as always, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Sorry it's not that much of a kind of vlog. It was more of an old-fashioned, good old-fashioned LSJ commentary, as I like to put it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, remember, no regrets. And I'll see you guys in the next video.